designs here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a really cool looking sphere in Cinema 4D. And I do have to give credit to iDigital Universe for teaching me how to make this. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So with Cinema 4D open, we're going to come up here. I'm going to drop down a sphere by clicking on the this option here. With our sphere selected, we're going to press Control c Control v on the keyboard. And on our top sphere, we're going to go ahead and rename this to Core. And now we're going to come down here to this bottom one, and we're going to rename this to Shell. And with our shell selected, just press C on the keyboard, come over here to this icon, click it once, and you're now able to edit the sphere. Come up here to this uh, top view by clicking this option and then going to top and click in here. Uh, now go to our live selection tool and hold shift. And the whole idea here is just to select um, about a quarter of this sphere. So if you don't quite understand what I mean, just go ahead and watch what I'm doing here. Should end up with something looking like that. So we got this perfect 90 degree angle, which is exactly one fourth of this uh, top half of the sphere. So we can go ahead and exit that view, go back into our perspective view, and rotate the camera around here, and you should have something looking like this. And once this is selected, go ahead and right click and click split. Uh, now you're going to get um, two of them. Just delete the one that's here in the middle. And if we select the one that's left, you can go ahead and see we're right back with what we had. Now you can see here on the core, this is our main sphere. We're going to go ahead and uh, where the screen check mark is showing, click that and it'll make it disappear. Now the sphere is still there, you just can't see it. So. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to rotate the camera up a little bit, and I'm going to come here. And with holding shift, I'm just going to select these polygons right here in this corner. Then I'm going to right-click on them, and I'm going to press Melt. And that basically gets rid of the polygons, um, so it kind of smooths it out a little bit. All right, and now what we're going to do is, is click anywhere, and hold shift and select these three polygons right here and then go ahead while holding shift select the other three on the other side okay and now what we're gonna do is press delete on the keyboard and now you can see we've got two slits uh, that's actually cut out of the actual sphere alright and with that done now what we're gonna do is come in back into our live selection tool and we're just gonna hold shift again and we're gonna select all these uh, polygons uh, every single one of them just like that And with all of our polygons selected here we're gonna right click and we're gonna come down to extrude now this varies I'm actually gonna do about four on the offset and then you're just gonna press apply and you should wind up with something looking like that and I know it does look a little bit rough but uh, here in the end we're gonna fix that so basically you should end up with something like that alright so now that we have that um, we're gonna go ahead and go back to this use model mode and our live selection tool and it should turn it white here and now we're just gonna uh, on the, with the shell selected, we're going to control C, control V to copy this. And on shell point one, we're going to come down here to the H rotation and we're going to change this to 90 degrees. And you should wind up with something like that. And that will basically, uh, we're going to end up making a whole sphere out of this. So I do apologize for my computer lagging. It always does this whenever I try to record. So just bear with me so you should have something looking like that okay now go ahead and copy shell now go ahead and copy this shell and copy it again come out, come down here to H rotation and change this to 180 and as you can see it puts it over there now Alright, and go ahead and do the same thing one more time. Control C, Control V, and change the H rotation on shell point 3 to 270. 
And now you can see here we've got this complete um, top half of the sphere, but it's cut out just like we did it. Um, did it earlier. So now I'm going to actually move this core down below the shell. And if we select this, you can see it's perfectly in line there. Our core is still there. With all four bits of the shell selected, we're going to control C, control V. And I'm just going to group these together to make this a little bit easier. So I'm going to click and drag all the way uh, four through seven. And I'm going to change the P rotation to 180. And there you can, uh, there you see that makes a complete sphere. And so if we uh, select the core again so to where you can see it, you can see it fits around it nicely. All right. And now we're just going to take the entire thing here and we're going to press Alt G on the keyboard. And that'll group everything together, like you can see here. And you'll get a null object. So just double click here. And let's go ahead and rename this to, I don't know, anything you want. I'm just going to call this Cool Sphere. And there you go. It's renamed. All right, to kind of smooth this out, make this look better, we're going to come down here uh, to the this little green looking cube, and we're going to go to Hypernerves. Now take our Cool Sphere, drag it into the Hypernerves, and as you can see there, it smooths it out. So we now have these like this smoother look to it. So that definitely did a lot for us. Uh, so once we have that, let's go ahead and click our uh, sphere so we can see it's visible. And we should have something like that. So um, by the looks of that, you can see that it looks it looks pretty cool. And now I'm just going to select all of this, and I'm just going to bring it up above the floor here and here's the fun part this is where we get to apply the materials so go ahead and go down here and double click in this box and double click the material and go ahead and change the color to whatever color you want I'm gonna use a kind of a I don't know kind of a darker blue I guess and then come over here to the luminance tab check this and change it to about 200 percent and basically change the color to about the same color as you used before so something like that. Now go ahead and take this material that you created and you can drag it on here. Or if that didn't work for you, you can go ahead and just take it and drag it right here. And you should have something like that. So if we render preview that, that's kind of what we have. But that doesn't look that great, so we're really going to fix this um, to make it look a lot better. So now we're going to do the outside here. So double click down here, create another new material. I'm going to make this white. Well, almost a... Uh, really 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 light gray and then I'm gonna come down here to reflection and I'm gonna to go to Fresnel and I'm gonna change the mix strength to about 15 percent and the brightness to about 30 and let's go ahead and drag this right on here we go ahead and render preview that uh, you can see what we have so that's looking quite nice um, so that's what we have. All right, and this is where we're going to really make this thing look really good. So go ahead and create another uh, create a cube object. And just bring it up to about right here. And make this uh, pretty big. And, you know, just use these little squares here to stretch it out. And this doesn't need to be that big. Okay, and now what we're going to do is just um, press C on the keyboard come down to our polygon tool and select this and then press delete and so now we've kinda got like a tent like thing uh, come back here to the model mode and select this option here the move tool and bring this up a bit alright and you should end up with something like that 
All right, and now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and apply the materials to this. So this is what's really going to make this look good. So go ahead and double click down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to color. Uh, we're going to leave it where it's at. And we're just going to bring this up to 100 for 150%, and that's all we need to do. Just go ahead and drag this onto the cube. We render that. You can see that's what we have, but that doesn't look that great still. So uh, now what we're going to do, come out here, and let's go ahead and create a plane. So go to this option here. Go to Plane. And I'm just going to bring it up, rotate it a little bit, and bring it back. And maybe bring it down. Stretched it out a little bit. Okay, so something like that. And what we're going to do now is go up to MoGraph. We're going to go to Cloner. Drag the, excuse me, drag the plane into the cloner. And click on the cloner. And select grid array. And I happen to forgot forget that that's what would happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and reposition this. I'm going to bring it back. And now um, with grid array selected, we're just going to go two by two by two. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the size down to. I'll just leave it where it's at. It's fine. Just kind of stretch it out, stretch them out here. Um, just like so. And you can see here, you can space them apart and that kind of thing. And I'm froze up. So I don't know, you can do something like that, or you know, you just can play around with this. I'm just gonna do two by one. That's plenty fine. Two by one by two. Two we get something like that. Alright, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna uh double click down here. Uh, to create another new material, double click down here again, go to the luminance tab, check off color, check off specular, and change the luminance to about 200%, and then just drag this material on here, like so. So once we've got that material drag on there, you know, we can just adjust this a little bit. And that looks about good right there. And to make this look really good, what we're going to do is go back into our render settings. We're going to change the width to 1280 by 720. Make this an HD. We're going to come down to save. We're going to go to JPEG. We're going to go to best and the max level to 8 by 8 Then we're going to come to effect and we're going to add ambient occlusion and global illumination. And in our global, global illumination uh, tab, we're going to go with general selected up here, GI mode, IR plus QMC still image. And then we're going to go to the irradiance catch and change the stochastic samples to low and the record density to low. And we're done there. So now if we go ahead and render this, we'll see what we got. As you can see there, that looks uh, quite beautiful. Uh, I will say for myself, that looks very nice, as you can see there. And we've kind of got that subtle uh, glow coming from the inside of this ball here, which does look very nice. Um, you know, you can play around with this as much as you would like. You know, just different stuff. And whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to bring this up and, you know, just play around with this stuff. Um, you know, like, for example, if I wanted this more spaced apart, then I, you know, just kind of pull it apart. Just like that. And now the reflections should be placed in a different spot on the sphere. So if I go ahead and render that real quick, you can see that's uh, that's what we end up with. You know, we've got some really nice reflections here. We've got the planes reflecting off the ball, 
as well as this uh, kind of a blue blue color reflecting off the walls which does look really cool and you know you can just add in your name uh, whatever by going up to MoGraph and going to MoText and um, you know do whatever change that to whatever you want and then you got a nice desktop background so um, now there is one more thing we can do here uh, we can drop in a sky by going up to this floor tab and clicking sky then go down here to create load material preset go down to prime materials HDRI and then go to HDRI 14 and this will give us some uh, really nice reflections as well <clears throat> alright so there you have it guys uh, I think that'll do it for this tutorial um, you know, please let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I appreciate any positive feedback I can get, you know. Um, you know, if you guys got any any other tutorials you would like to see, any requests of that nature, um, you know, just anything in general that you would like to see uh, done, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll see what I can do. And, uh, yeah, oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing. If you would like to duplicate this, and you know not have to do that whole thing over again and all you have to do is just take your core if it's not already uh, drug in here just take the core drag it in here under whatever you name this and then just select this and control C control V go over to the move tool and there you go now you can see that you've actually got two two of these spheres alright so there you go guys um, that's all I got for you today um, I'll uh, you know I already said what I wanted to say so yeah I guess I'll see you guys next time peace out